Hi everyone, my name is Dima and welcome back to my channel. I'm an orthodontic registrar and today we're going to be talking all about how to clean your Invisalign trays and your retainers. So whether you're using Invisalign trays or retainers, over time they will get slightly grimy. Obviously you're wearing them at night time as well so there's going to be build up on there and we definitely want to keep them nice and fresh so that we keep our breath fresh as well and so that we don't have a build up of microbes and bacteria on these retainers. A few key points to note, you shouldn't be eating with retainers or Invisalign trays in your mouth because this can accelerate the rate of dental decay. So we definitely don't wanna be doing that. So you shouldn't really have food build up on the inside of your retainers, but they just get a bit grimy in general. And it's really good to give them a good clean every day or so, or every couple of days, especially if you're wearing them every night. Typically, I always recommend patients to use warm soapy water to clean their retainers because it's easily accessible. Everyone has that at home. So you can use even liquid hand soap and a soft toothbrush and just rub it against your retainer and you should be able to clean it quite well. I always recommend as well not to use the same toothbrush that you use on your teeth on your retainer and not to use toothpaste on your retainers as well. The reason for this is that toothpaste does contain some slightly more abrasive particles which can scratch your retainers or your Invisalign trays and obviously we do not want that especially with your retainers we want them to last for as long as possible so warm soapy water is absolutely fine you shouldn't need to use anything harsh on it. Today we're going to be reviewing a brand new gadget which I only heard about a few months ago on the market. It is billed as a retainer and Invisalign cleaner. This is it. It's called the Dental Pod and essentially what you do is you fill this up with water, you use their tablets which you put into the gadget and then you pop your retainer in and apparently it cleans it within five minutes. So let's give it a go and see how it cleans my retainers because as you know from previous videos I have had orthodontic treatment and I do wear my retainers every single night so they do have some build up on. So let's get these nice and clean. So on the user manual of my pod it actually says that it cleans up to 99.9% .9 of bacteria and pathogens. It says to fill the tank with water between the minimum and maximum lines. So obviously those are just there. So we're gonna head to the bathroom and quickly fill it up. So as you can see, it's between the minimum and maximum lines. And now we are just going to pop my retainers in. So these are my retainers. We are just gonna pop them in. We're just gonna take a tablet and pop it in there. So, tablet in. Lid on. The dental pod works by using an ultrasonic mechanism, creating millions of nano-sized bubbles in the actual pod as it's cleaning your retainer. So it's doing this 4,000 times per second. That's faster than any amount of time you could spend with a toothbrush scrubbing at your retainer. You just wouldn't be able to scrub it 4,000 times per second. So it just makes sense that something like this dental pod would be actually really, really wise to use because it's able to do things that humans just wouldn't be able to do. So that's essentially how it cleans your retainer. So it has finished. Let's just take the lid off and see what we've got. So you can see the tablet has fully dissolved. One thing that I have noticed with the dental pod is that if you use cold water, the tablet doesn't fully dissolve. So I'd always recommend you use slightly warmer water and then you'll just notice that there's not like remnants left of the tablet at the end of your five minutes. So you can see the tablet has fully dissolved and there's no sort of remnants of it left in there. We're now going to empty this out into the sink and see what the retainers look like. crystal clear. Very, very happy with that. Both of them. And I can just actually use that as my retainer storage when I go on holiday, so I don't even need to take anything to store my retainers. I can just keep them in there once I've emptied out the water. And there we go. You should never use any household bleaches or any household cleaning products on your retainers, just because they are quite abrasive and also it's quite toxic if any is left on the retainer and you put it in your mouth. You should never use hot water to clean your retainers or Invisalign trays because it will melt it. And remember, it's only plastic, so essentially it's just going to melt and then it's not gonna fit. I once had a patient who used boiling water to try and clean her retainer, and needless to say, it didn't fit anymore. Afterwards, she was back to have another retainer made. 
It's also really important to take your retainer out when cleaning and never clean it inside your mouth when it's on your teeth because you just won't get round all the little nooks and crannies. And finally, every time you eat, you should take your retainers or Invisalign trays out and give them a rinse so that food doesn't get stuck inside the retainer and lead to decay. Overall, I think it's absolutely fabulous. I think especially with things like COVID going round and you never know what you might pick up on your retainer or on your Invisalign trays, especially if you're taking them out to eat, you're putting them on the table or you're putting them anywhere in your pocket, etc. You never know what they might be picking up. Obviously having something like that, that you know is going to be killing 99.9% .9 of microorganisms that are growing on it, it's just so handy to know. In addition to the fact that it's just so lovely and small and compact, you can literally take it with you anywhere. It's just an all round, great product to use. I'm really happy that there's something like this on the market now because before if they wanted to buy something specific for their Invisalign tray or for their retainers they would have to go to the denture section in Boots and get kind of like those sterilizing tablets which are okay but they're not really designed for the same purpose. I wouldn't recommend a product to you that I don't already use myself. I've been using this now for a few months on my own retainers. I don't use it every single day as it does say on the instructions and I probably wouldn't recommend that you need to use it every single Single day. I'd probably say once every few days is fine. It depends how often you wear your retainers and how often you wear your Invisalign trays because obviously the more you wear them, the more buildup you get and the more you need to clean them. But I definitely would say I probably do it once or twice every week um, and therefore also the tablets that I have last me longer. So how much does it cost? The price is only accurate at the time that I am recording this video. At the moment, these pods are 59 99 on the Dental Pod UK website. And um, when I bought it, it came with 30 tablets included. I'm not sure that's still the case so double check the website but the tablets are 6 dollars and they last you for 30 days we've got a lovely code for you to use to get 10% off and that is DEMA10 so if you do order it pop a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are on this cleaner it was not sent to me for free or anything like that I paid for it myself the code that I'm sharing with you is because I am a dental professional and therefore if you buy something that a dental professional recommends to you then you get a bit of money off but feel free not to use the code if you don't want to it makes no difference to me but I just thought I'd share that with you because you can bag yourself 10% off, so why not? Thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you next week with another video. Bye!